Louise, Louise McKinley, um, leveling up. You've come here today with really, really important announcements. You've pick, picked Harlow. Tell us a little bit what that means. So I think the message for Harlow is that it's absolutely on our radar in terms of what it is that we're trying to achieve via leveling up, which is about spreading opportunity. So we know from some of the data that we've looked at that you know Harlow is a place that's really looking forward, that there's many opportunities here, but we also know that those opportunities aren't shared across the piece and by everybody. So what we've done is highlight Harlow as a place where we really want to, to focus and work with partners and see what we can do to make sure that we can spread those opportunities, whether that's through jobs, whether it's through skills, whether that's through education, healthy lifestyles, levelling up means a multitude of things, but essentially it's about levelling up, it's about um, spreading opportunity. And you mentioned partners, you've got a huge amount of people here on board, you're doing a tour at Harlow, that's been vital hasn't it, getting everybody on board? It has, and one of the things that I said when we, we launched it is that levelling up isn't the preserve of anybody, it is about us all coming together, people will have different things that they can contribute, people will know the area to different degrees, whether we're working with schools, whether it's businesses, whether it's us as the County Council in terms of some of the, the funding, and maybe being able to facilitate some of that work. Our role is just, we're just one cog in that wheel. So it's really important that everyone comes together. So to have so many people here today and different organisations represented is great because it shows their commitment to this as well. You, you're, you have levelling up. Robert Halfon, the MP, the first ladder of opportunity. Mm. It's a big challenge. You can't, you can't teach people aspiration, can you? Well, you can put it in front of them more. And I think if, if people only see what they have immediately around them, then, then that's why people become um, products of their environment. And, and you know that applies to all of us to one degree or another. But, but ultimately, if you, if you live in a world, whether that's a, a household, whether it's a school you're in, whether it's um, a community that you're in, where you see success, then that will build that will build on it. You can build on that for yourself. You know, success breeds success. So I think it is about saying to people that these opportunities are there. Of course, people have got to grab them, but making sure that everyone knows that they can do and be what they want to be. Nearly every day, if I put a story up and people talk about Harlow and Gilson Garden Town, or they're talking about the um, uh, house prices, you know, two hundred sixty thousand pounds for a two bedroom, people will feel. There's almost a danger of two Harlows, isn't there? Or the, or the soft bit in the middle. That's just going to be. That's the. You've got to. Even though there's lots of great things going on that, that have been. There's a big challenge here to make everybody's on board here. There is a challenge, and and you know it is about celebrating success, and it is about recognising all of all that Harlow has to offer. But then the work that we need to do is to take that success and think about how we can spread that out to to families and communities that that either don't have it at the moment or certainly don't feel that they have it. And that's where levelling up and spreading opportunity comes into it. So you now we know, for example, that there are in some in some areas issues with literacy. So we'll be working very closely with the libraries and with the schools to put in place literacy programmes to support parents and your children to improve their literacy. So some of this is really basic and fundamental. But if we want those people to be able to go on and have the good jobs and, and be part of the success that Harlow already is and, and, and more that it can be, then we have to get those basics right. And one of the elements is public health, isn't it? You mentioned the work that Changing Lives have been going to do because mm -hmm. there are some really scary stats regarding morbid obesity as well. And that's really got to be tackled, especially after with COVID and after after COVID, whatever that means. Spot on. I mean, the last two years have exacerbated what a situation that was already there in terms of you know people moving less and, and, and obesity growing. So the work that we're doing is about you know, raising the profile of, of being active. Um, active Essex have a scheme at the moment called Find Your Active, which you know, it might be about playing football or netball or, or a traditional sport, but it's actually just about being active. You know, it might be walking to the shops, it might be gardening, but whatever it is that, that works for you, but to get people out of chairs, to get them moving, um, and to, to, to recognise the link between physical activity, mental well-being, and, and how you can then perform, whether that's at school or work. Final two questions. How will you measure success and what's your time scale? So we know that some of this is going to take a generation to change. That you know, We, we understand that when we go into the programme and we've been very, very clear about that. But we also know that there are some of the metrics that can move much quicker. So I just touched on literacy, for example. Um, we would expect in the next you know, two years, three years, four years to be able to see improvements around some of the schemes that, that we can put in place and around what the impact that that can have. So in terms of the metrics, there'll be a, a variety of different ways in which we, you know, we actually measure it depending on the scheme. But ultimately, it's going to be about a, a short term, but also recognising that some of this is long term and, and we're in it for the long haul.